Hey there, this is Andrew from LaptopReviews.com and I have here with me today the ASUS A53Z and this is a budget laptop with 15 inch screen. Uh, so uh, the price starts at around $399. I actually picked this up for $379 at Newegg.com. So uh, for that price, it's, it's a pretty good bargain. I just wanted to talk a little bit about the features of this laptop and if you're just looking for kind of a cheap laptop to have around the house, whether this might be a good option for you. So the ASUS A53Z comes with an AMD processor. In particular, with this model, what I have is an AMD A63420M, and it's indicated on the sticker here. And uh, this has three gigabytes of memory and 320 gigabyte hard drive. There are various configurations that have more memory and a bigger hard drive. But uh, for this price of 379, it's kind of a bare bones level configuration and uh, it's pretty easy to upgrade. So if you didn't like those specs, you can easily uh, put in some more RAM or put in a new hard drive. Uh, so uh, the performance of this is a really good um, uh, for stuff like, no, I have to qualify that for stuff like browsing the web, maybe multitasking with some office documents, um, watching YouTube and uh, you know, chatting with somebody. You can easily do that all at the same time. Uh, thanks to the graphics on board, you have AMD 6520 graphics. You can even do some light gaming as well. Um, maybe some of the more modern games on low to medium settings. Uh, the keyboard is kind of nice. You get, uh, you get a number pad built into it uh, on the right side here. Now, one complaint I do have about the keyboard is kind of flimsy. Uh, it has some real flex to it here, kind of in the right hand side. The keys are so-so, they have dis decent travel distance, but uh, you really get some flex here where um, the number pad meets the keyboard area. Uh, the touchpad has a nice glide to it. Um, the buttons are a good size, but kind of loud there. You get a clicky sound with both the left and the right buttons there. So that's kind of a little annoying. I prefer a much softer sound than that. Uh, the screen, as I mentioned before, is 15.6 inches. It has a 1366 by 768 resolution. The, the color quality is pretty average. Um, if I just bring up a picture here and maybe just set a Windows picture as my background. How about let's choose desert, set it to background. And is, I see a little slow there, okay. Now you'll see that, uh, you know, it looks good. The colors are bright thanks to the glossy screen, but um, it's not as good as some higher quality. And there looks like there's a little bit of pixelation going on as well, but if you're not picky, you're not gonna notice it. Viewing angles are so-so. Of course, you'll see here, this is a glossy screen now. I have a, uh, an office light right above me, so it's reflecting that here. Um, that's one thing to keep in mind if uh, you are bothered by glossy screens and the reflection that they have. Uh, this does have that kind of a screen. So while it can help co colors look more vivid, it does cause reflections. And also you'll notice you can see my reflection taking this video in the screen itself. So um, if you have strong backlighting behind you, you'll get those reflections. Um, this laptop is made of really all plastic. So uh, it's still rigid here. I can't press in a whole lot on the palm rest. So I'm pretty happy with the palm rest, a little bit of flex. You do get more flex on the lid, so it's hard to see, but it's kind of springy there, right? But however, I've tested and it doesn't appear to really have too much effect on the screen. So if you push in on the back, you're not gonna see a ton of screen ripple. So let me try get the screen back on here. It's gonna take a little while to wake up and I'll, I'll actually demonstrate that. Uh, while we're doing that, let's take a look around at some of the ports you get on this laptop. So, on the left hand side over here, you get an Ethernet port. You see the heat vent is located right here. And you get an HDMI port. And you get VGA monitor out port right here. And then you get uh, a USB 3.0 and a USB 2.0 port there at the front side. So, moving around to the front, if I tilt it up a little bit here, you'll see there's an SD card reader on the lower front side there. And then if I rotate around to the right side, you'll see that there's a headphone jack, a microphone jack, another USB 2.0 port, 
then I have my optical drive here. So that's a DVD burner in this case. And then if I rotate around to the back, we see the lid. By the way, the lid's uh, what ASUS calls a mocha color, so it's kind of a dark brown. Uh, there are actually no ports on the back side here, and just the battery there. So let's go back to looking at the screen again, and as I said, if you push it on the back, you get some ripples, but I'm really pushing hard there. So, you know, that's one of those indications that this laptop is made of plastic and that you're not getting the best build quality in the world. It's not like an aluminum backed screen, let's say with like a MacBook or something like that. Uh, you just know when you're paying 300 something dollars, you're just not gonna get the same. So let's look at the bottom of this laptop real quick just so you can see the battery's upgradable. You can easily remove it. Also, you can access memory in here. So that's easy to upgrade. And the hard drive could be upgraded by accessing it down here. So that's kind of nice knowing that you can uh, easily access those uh, parts of the laptop and make some upgrades. So overall, the ASUS uh, A53Z for what it is, 300 something dollars or maybe more if you have a better configuration, is, uh, is a great laptop. You can't go too wrong. Um, you just have to understand that it's going to be made of plastic and there are some compromises. The screen's not the best in the world and maybe the keyboard has a little bit of flex, but overall the performance you get is going to be more than adequate for a typical task you'll be performing, um, you know, watching movies or just typing some documents, surfing the web, you know, more than enough power, even some light gaming. So I can endorse this laptop. I think it's uh, it's a great buy for the price, and uh, I think if you keep your eyes peeled, um, you know, around Black Friday or so, you might get some really good deals on this laptop.